We can finally show you what's inside Tallahassee's Taj Mahal. In our special report yesterday, Channel 9's Eric Rasmussen told you state leaders were strongly criticized for approving the lavish courthouse buried in a road bill. And Eric, today you found out how taxpayers unknowingly decorated the place. Right, Josh. You know, if you've ever been inside the Orange County Courthouse here, I can tell you the difference is night and day. And now at least one candidate for Florida CFO is staking her campaign on what some are calling a $48 million boondoggle. If the new 1st District Court of Appeal looks like a palace from the outside, new pictures from inside the courthouse show just how 15 judges will be treated. Very heavy granite countertops and more flat screen TVs than can fit in a sports bar. Former state legislator Lorraine Osley has made Tallahassee's Taj Mahal the centerpiece of her campaign for chief financial officer. I voted against this project, even though it's in my hometown, not because it was debated, but because it was born like so many things, in the dead of night, with no debate, no vetting, and no regard for taxpayer dollars. Osley also questions why they needed 20 miles of African mahogany wood. Now, we got this smaller piece for about $20, but it would have to stretch more than 300 football fields, or all the way from here at the Citrus Bowl to here at Disney World, just to match the amount of wood the new courthouse used. A recent audit found the mahogany and other ornamental woodwork alone cost $3.5 million. Now, Osley is touring the state with visuals like these, blaming the expensive project on her opponent and Senate President Jeff Atwater. This Taj Mahal of Tallahassee was built vote by vote by Jeff Atwater, an out-of-touch Republican legislature. Now, Senator Atwater was not available to talk on camera today, but a spokesperson told me he's as outraged as anyone about the lavish spending on this project. He also says Osley is misrepresenting his role in getting the courthouse built. We're live here in Orange County, Eric Rasmussen, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.